seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're live. Hey, everybody. It's me, your friend, Ferb Jr. And I'm joined by my friend, Stevie TD, or Stevie the dog. She has not been feeling good. Anyway, I'm going to play some Minecraft and listen to my scriptures. So let's go to my, how I track it. I'm in Joshua chapter 11. So I'll go over to the app. Jo Joshua chapter 11. Press play. Chapter 11. Joshua and Israel conquer the whole land, destroying many cities and nations. And it came to pass when Jabin king of Hazor had heard those things, that he sent to Jobab king of Maiden, and to the king of Shimron, and to the king of Akshaph, and to the kings that were on the north of the mountains, and of the plains south of Kinneroth, and in the valley, and in the borders of Dor on the west, and to the Canaanite on the east and on the west, and to the Amorite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Jebusite in the mountains, and to the Hivite under Hermon in the land of Mizpah. And they went out, they and all their hosts with them, much people, even as the sand that is upon the seashore in multitude, with horses and chariots very men. And when all these kings were met together, they came and pitched together at the waters of Miram to fight against Israel. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Be not afraid because of them, for tomorrow about this time will I deliver them up all slain before Israel. Thou shalt hawk their horses and burn their chariots with fire. So Joshua came, and all the people of war with him, against them by the waters of Miram suddenly, and they fell upon them. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of Israel, who smote them, and chased them unto great Zidon, and unto misrephoth and unto the valley of Mizpah eastward. And they smote them, until they left them none remaining. And Joshua did unto them as the Lord bade him. He hawked their horses, and burnt their chariots with fire. And Joshua at that time turned back, and took Hazor, and smote the king thereof with the sword. For Hazor before time was the head of all those kingdoms. And they smote all the souls that were therein with the edge of the sword, utterly destroying them. There was not any left to breathe. And he burnt Hazor with fire. And all the cities of those kings, and all the kings of them, did Joshua take, and smote them with the edge of the sword. And he utterly destroyed them, as Moses the servant of the Lord commanded. But as for the cities that stood still in their strength, Israel burned none of them, save Hazor only. That did Joshua burn. And all the spoil of these cities, and the cattle, the children of Israel took for a prey unto themselves. But every man they smote with the edge of the sword, until they had destroyed them, neither left they any to breathe. As the Lord commanded Moses his servant, so did Moses command Joshua, and so did Joshua. He left nothing undone of all that the Lord commanded Moses. So Joshua took all that land, the hills and all the south country, and all the land of Goshen, and the valley, and the plain, and the mountain of Israel, and the valley of the same. Even from the Mount Halak, that goeth up to Seir, even unto Baal Gad in the valley of Lebanon, under Mount Hermon. And all their kings he took, and smote them, and slew them. Joshua made war a long time with all those kings. There was not a city that made peace with the children of Israel, save the Hivites, the inhabitants of Gibeon. All other they took in battle. For it was of the Lord to harden their hearts, that they should come against Israel in battle that he might destroy them utterly, and that they might have no favor, but that he might destroy them, as the Lord commanded Moses. And at that time came Joshua, and cut off the Anakims from the mountains, from Hebron, from Deber, from Anab, and from all the mountains of Judah, and from all the mountains of Israel. Joshua destroyed them utterly with their cities. There was none of the Anakims left in the land of the children of Israel, only in Gaza, in Gath, and in Ashdod they remained. So Joshua took the whole land, according to all that the Lord said unto Moses. And Joshua gave it for an inheritance unto Israel, according to their divisions by their tribes. And the land rested from war. Chapter 12 
chapter 12, two kings on the east of the Jordan and 31 on the west are conquered by Israel. Now these are the kings of the land which the children of Israel smote and possessed their land on the other side of Jordan toward the rising of the sun from the river Arnon unto Mount Hermon and all the plain on the east. Sihon, king of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon and ruled from Aror, which is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and from the middle of the river, and from half Gilead, even unto the river Jabbok, which is the border of the children of Ammon, and from the plain to the sea of Kinneroth on the east, and unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea on the east, the way to Beth Jeshemoth, and from the south under Ashdod Pisgah, and the coast of Og, king of Bashan, which was of the remnant of the giants, that dwelt at Ashtaroth and at Edrei, and reigned in Mount Hermon, and in Sulca, and in all Bashan, unto the border of the Geshurites and the Maacathites, and half Gilead, the border of Sihon, king of Heshbon. Them did Moses the servant of the Lord, and the children of Israel smite. And Moses the servant of the Lord gave it for a possession unto the Reubenites, and the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. And these are the kings of the country which Joshua and the children of Israel smote on this side Jordan on the west, from Baal Gad in the valley of Lebanon, even unto the Mount Halak that goeth up to Seir, which Joshua gave unto the tribes of Israel for a possession according to their divisions. In the mountains, and in the valleys, and in the plains, and in the springs, and in the wilderness, and in the south country, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. The king of Jericho, one. The king of Ai, which is beside Bethel, one. The king of Jerusalem, one. The king of Hebron, one. The king of Jarmuth, one. The king of Lachish, one. The king of Eglon, one. The king of Gezer, one. The king of Deber, one. The king of Geder, one. The king of Horma, one. The king of Aaron, one. The king of Libna, one. The king of Adullam, one. The king of Makeda, one. The king of Bethel, one. The king of Tapua, one. The king of Hefer, one. The king of Aphek, one. The king of Lasharon, one. The king of Madon, one. The king of Hazor, one. The king of Shimron Miron, one. The king of Akshaf, one. The king of Taanach, one. The king of Megiddo, one. The king of Kedish, one. The king of Jachnium of Carmel, one. The king of Dor in the coast of Dor, one. The king of the nations of Gilgal, one. The king of Tirzah, one. All the kings, thirty and one. Chapter 13 There remain some lands yet to be possessed. Some inhabitants are not expelled. The inheritances of Reuben, Gad, and one half of Manasseh are confirmed. Now Joshua was old and stricken in years. And the Lord said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years, and there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. This is the land that yet remaineth, all the borders of the Philistines and all the Shurai. From Sihor, which is before Egypt, even unto the borders of Ekron northward, which is counted to the Canaanite. Five lords of the Philistines, the Gazathites, the Ashdathites, the Eshkelonites, the Gittites, and the Ekronites, also the Avites. From the south, all the land of the Canaanites, and the era that is beside the Sidonians, unto Aphrodite, to the borders of the Amorites. And the land of the Giblites and all Lebanon, toward the sunrising from Baal Gad under Mount Hermon, unto the entering into Hamath. All the inhabitants of the hill country, from Lebanon unto Misrephoth Maim, and all the Sidonians, them will I drive out from before the children of Israel. Only divide thou it by lot unto the Israelites for an inheritance, as I have commanded thee. Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance unto the nine tribes and the half-tribe of Manasseh, with whom the Reubenites and the Gadites have received their inheritance, which Moses gave them, beyond Jordan eastward, even as Moses the servant of the Lord gave them, from a rower that is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, 
and all the plain of Medeba unto Dibon, and all the cities of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, unto the border of the children of Ammon, and Gilead, and the border of the Geshurites and Maacathites, and all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan unto Salca, all the kingdom of Og in Bashan, which reigned in Ashtaroth and in Edrei, who remained of the remnant of the giants. For these did Moses smite and cast them out. Nevertheless, the children of Israel expelled not the Geshurites nor the Maacathites, but the Geshurites and the Maacathites dwell among the Israelites until this day. Only unto the tribe of Levi he gave none inheritance. The sacrifices of the Lord God of Israel made by fire are their inheritance, as he said unto them. And Moses gave unto the tribe of the children of Reuben inheritance according to their families. And their coast was from Aroer, that is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain of Medeba. Heshbon and all her cities that are in the plain, Dibon, and Bamoth Baal, and Beth Baal Meon, and Jehaza, and Kedemoth, and Mephayath, and Kerjathaim, and Sibma, and Zareth Shehar in the mount of the valley, and Beth Peor, and Ashdoth Pisgah, and Beth Jeshemoth, and all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses smote with the princes of Midian, Evi, and Recham, and Zer, and Hur, and Reba, which were dukes of Sihon, dwelling in the country. Balaam also, the son of Beor, the soothsayer, did the children of Israel slay with the sword among them that were slain by them. And the border of the children of Reuben was Jordan, and the border thereof. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben after their families, the cities, and the villages thereof. And Moses gave inheritance unto the tribe of Gad, even unto the children of Gad, according to their families. And their coast was Jazer, and all the cities of Gilead, and half the land of the children of Ammon, unto a rower that is before Rabbah, and from Heshbon unto Ramoth Mizpah, and Betanim, and from Mahanaim unto the border of Deber, and in the valley Beth Aram, and Beth Nimrah, and Succoth, and Zaphon, the rest of the kingdom of Sihon, king of Heshbon, Jordan, and his border, even unto the edge of the sea of Kinnereth, on the other side Jordan, eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad after their families, the cities and their villages. And Moses gave inheritance unto the half-tribe of Manasseh. And this was the possession of the half-tribe of the children of Manasseh by their families. And their coast was from Mahanaim, all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, and all the towns of Jair, which are in Bashan threescore cities and half Gilead, and Ashtaroth, and Edrei, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan, were pertaining unto the children of Machir, the son of Manasseh, even to the one half of the children of Machir by their families. These are the countries which Moses did distribute for inheritance in the plains of Moab, on the other side Jordan, by Jericho eastward. But unto the tribe of Levi, Moses gave not any inheritance. The Lord God of Israel was there he said unto them. Chapter 14. The land is divided by lot among nine and a half tribes. Caleb inherits Hebron as a special reward for his faithfulness. And these are the countries which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel, distributed for inheritance to them. By lot was their inheritance, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses for the nine tribes and for the half-tribe. For Moses had given the inheritance of two tribes and an half-tribe on the other side Jordan. But unto the Levites he gave none inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. Therefore they gave no part unto the Levites in the land, save cities to dwell in, with their settlers for the cattle for their substance. As the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, said unto him, 
that thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses, the man of God, concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea. Forty years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to espy out the land, and I brought him word again as it was in mine heart. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly followed the Lord my God. And Moses swear on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance, and thy children's forever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said, these forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet, I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now, for war, both to go out and to come in. Now, therefore, give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spake in that day. For thou heardest in that day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him, and gave unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh, Hebron, for an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite, unto this day, because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. And the name of Hebron before was Kirjath Arba, which Arba was a great man among the Anakims, and the land had rest from war. Chapter 15. Judah is given an inheritance in Canaan. The Jebusites dwell with Judah at Jerusalem. This then was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah by their families, even to the border of Edom. The wilderness of Zin southward was the uttermost part of the south coast. And their south border was from the shore of the salt sea, from the bay that looketh southward. And it went out to the south side to Mele Akrabim, and passed along to Zin, and ascended up on the south side unto Kadesh Barnea, and passed along to Hezron, and went up to Adar, and fetched a compass to Karkea. From thence it passed toward Asmon, and went out unto the river of Egypt. And the goings out of that coast were at the sea, this shall be your south coast. And the east border was the Salt Sea, even unto the end of Jordan. And their border in the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the uttermost part of Jordan. And the border went up to Beth Hogla, and passed along by the north of Beth Araba. And the border went up to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben. And the border went up toward Deber from the valley of Achor, and so northward, looking toward Gilgal. That is before the going up to Adummim, which is on the south side of the river. And the border passed toward the waters of Enshemesh, and the goings out thereof were at Enrogel. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom unto the south side of the Jebusite. The same is Jerusalem. And the border went up to the top of the mountain that lieth before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the end of the valley of the giants northward. And the border was drawn from the top of the hill unto the fountain of the water of Nephtoah, and went out to the cities of Mount Ephron, and the border was drawn to Baala, which is Kirjath Jearim. And the border compassed from Baala westward unto Mount Seir, and passed along unto the side of Mount Jearim, which is Kesselon on the north side, and went down to Beth Shemesh, and passed on to Timnah. And the border went out unto the side of Ekron northward, and the border was drawn to Shikron, and passed along to Mount Baala, and went out unto Jebneel. And the goings out of the border were at the sea. And the west border was to the great sea, and the coast thereof. This is the coast of the children of Judah round about, according to their families. And unto Caleb the son of Jephun, he did part among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua even the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which city is Hebron. And Caleb drove thence the three sons of Anak, Shishai and Ahiman, and Talmai, the children of Anak. And he went up thence to the inhabitants of Deber. And the name of Deber before was Kirjath Sefer. And Caleb said, He that smiteth Kirjath Sefer and taketh it, to him will I give Aksa my daughter to wife.
And Othniel, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it. And he gave him Aksa his daughter to wife. And it came to pass, as she came unto him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field. And she lighted off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What wouldest thou? Who answered, Give me a blessing, for thou hast given me a south land. Give me also springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs and the nether springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families. And the uttermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah, toward the coast of Edom southward, were Kabziel, and Eder, and Jager, and Kina, and Amona, and Adida, and Kedish, and Hazor, and Ithnan, Ziph, and Telam, and Bealoth, and Hazor, Hadatta, and Kuriath, and Hezron, which is Hazor, Amon, and Shema, and Molada, and Hazor Gada, and Heshmon, and Beth Palet, and Hazor Shul, and Beersheba, and Bezjothja, Baala, and Iam, and Azam, and Eltolad, and Kisel, and Horma, and Ziklag, and Madmana, and Sansana, and Labaoth, and Shillam, and Ain, and Rimen. All the cities are twenty and nine with their villages. And in the valley, Eshtael, and Zoria, and Ashna, and Zenoa, and in Gana, Tapua, and Enam, Jarmuth, and Adullam, Soko, and Azekah, and Shiraim, and Adathaim, and Gadira, and Gadirathaim, fourteen cities with their villages, Zenan, and Hadasha, and Migdalgad, and Dilian, and Mizpah, and Jokthil, Lachish, and Boscath, and Eglon, and Cabin, and Laman, and Kithlish, and Gadiroth, Beth Dagon, and Naamah, and Makeda, sixteen cities with their villages, Libna, and Ether, and Ashan, and Jifta, and Ashna, and Nezeb, and Keilah, and Axel, and Marisha, nine cities with their villages, Ekron with her towns and her villages, from Ekron even unto the sea, all that lay near Ashdod with their villages, Ashdod with her towns and her villages, Gaza with her towns and her villages, unto the river of Egypt, and the great sea and the border thereof, and in the mountains, Shemer, and Jatter, and Soko, and Dana, and Kirjath Sana, which is Deber, and Anab, and Eshtemo, and Anam, and Goshen, and Holon, and Gilo, eleven cities with their villages, Arab, and Duma, and Eshian, and Janum, and Beth Tapua, and Afika, and Humta, and Kirjath Arba, which is Hebron, and Zior, nine cities with their villages, Maon, Carmel, and Ziph, and Jutta, and Jezreel, and Jokdium, and Zenoa, Cain, Gibeah, and Timnah, ten cities with their villages, Halhol, Bethzer, and Gedor, and Meirath, and Beth Anoth, and Eltakon, six cities with their villages, Kirjath Baal, which is Kirjath Jearim, and Rabbah, two cities with their villages, in the wilderness, Beth Ereba, Midden, and Sekeka, and Nibshan, and the city of Salt, and in Gedi, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out. But the Jebusites dwell with the children of Judah at Jerusalem unto this day. Chapter 16 The children of Joseph, Ephraim, and Manasseh receive their inheritances. Some Canaanites continue to dwell among the Ephraimites. And the lot of the children of Joseph fell from Jordan by Jericho, unto the water of Jericho on the east, to the wilderness that goeth up from Jericho throughout Mount Bethel, and goeth out from Bethel to Luz, and passeth along unto the borders of Archai to Ataroth, and goeth down westward to the coast of Japhletai, under the coast of Beth Horon the nether, and to Gezer, and the goings out thereof are at the sea. So the children of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim took their inheritance. 
And the border of the children of Ephraim, according to their families, was thus. Even the border of their inheritance on the east side was Ataroth Adar, unto Beth Horam the upper. And the border went out toward the sea to Michmethah on the north side. And the border went about eastward unto Teanath Shiloh, and passed by it on the east to Genoha. And it went down from Genoha to Ataroth, and to Naaroth, and came to Jericho, and went out to Jordan. The border went out from Capua westward unto the river Cana, and the goings out thereof were at the sea. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim by their families. And the separate cities for the children of Ephraim were among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages. And they drave not out the Canaanites that dwelt in Gezer, but the Canaanites dwell among the Ephraimites unto this day, and serve under tribute. Chapter 17 Manasseh and Ephraim both receive an additional inheritance. Ephraim is to drive out the Canaanites from the hill country. There was also a lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph, to wit, for which he was the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, because he was a man of war, therefore he had Gilead and Bashan. There was also a lot for the rest of the children of Manasseh by their families, for the children of Abiezer, and for the children of Helik and for the children of Asriel, and for the children of Shechem, and for the children of Hefer, and for the children of Shemida. These were the male children of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, by their families. But Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, had no sons, but daughters. And these are the names of his daughters, Mala and Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirzah. And they came near before Eleazar the priest, and before Joshua the son of Nun, and before the princes, saying, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brethren. Therefore, according to the commandment of the Lord, he gave them an inheritance among the brethren of their father. And there fell ten portions to Manasseh, beside the land of Gilead and Bashan, which were on the other side Jordan. Because the daughters of Manasseh had an inheritance among his sons, and the rest of Manasseh's sons had the land of Gilead. And the coast of Manasseh was from Asher to Michmethah that lieth before Shechem, and the border went along on the right hand unto the inhabitants of Antapua. Now Manasseh had the land of Tapua, but Tapua on the border of Manasseh belonged to the children of Ephraim. And the coast descended unto the river Cana south of the river, these cities of Ephraim are among the cities of Manasseh. The coast of Manasseh also was on the north side of the river, and the outgoings of it were at the sea. Southward it was Ephraim's, and northward it was Manasseh's, and the sea is his border. And they met together in Asher on the north, and in Issachar on the east. And Manasseh had in Issachar, and in Asher Bethshean and her towns, and Ibliam and her towns, and the inhabitants of Dor and her towns and the inhabitants of Endor, and her towns, and the inhabitants of Taanak, and her towns, and the inhabitants of Megiddo, and her towns, even three countries. Yet the children of Manasseh could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities, but the Canaanites would dwell in that land. Yet it came to pass, when the children of Israel were waxen strong, that they put the Canaanites to tribute, but did not utterly drive them out. And the children of Joseph spake unto Joshua, saying, Why hast thou given me but one lot and one portion to inherit, seeing I am a great people, for as much as the Lord hath blessed me hitherto? And Joshua answered them, If thou be a great people, then get thee up to the wood country, and cut down for thyself there in the land of the Perizzites and of the giants, if Mount Ephraim be too narrow for thee. And the children of Joseph said, The hill is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites that dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron, both they who are of Bethshean and her towns, and they who are of the valley of Jezreel. And Joshua spake unto the house of Joseph, even to Ephraim and to Manasseh, saying, Thou art a great people, and hast great power. Thou shalt not have one lot only, but the mountain shall be thine, for it is a wood, and thou shalt cut it down and the outgoings of it shall be thine. 
for thou shalt drive out the Canaanites, though they have iron chariots, and though they be strong. Chapter 18 The tabernacle of the congregation is set up at Shiloh. Benjamin receives an inheritance by Lot. And the whole congregation of the children of Israel assembled together at Shiloh, and set up the tabernacle of the congregation there, and the land was subdued before them. And there remained among the children of Israel seven tribes, which had not yet received their inheritance. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, How long are ye slack to go to possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers hath given you? Give out from among you three men for each tribe, and I will send them, and they shall rise and go through the land, and describe it according to the inheritance of them, and they shall come again to me. And they shall divide it into seven parts. Judah shall abide in their coast on the south, and the house of Joseph shall abide in their coasts on the north. Ye shall therefore describe the land into seven parts, and bring the description hither to me, that I may cast lots for you here before the Lord our God. But the Levites have no part among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their inheritance. And Gad and Reuben and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond Jordan on the east, which Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. And the men arose and went away, and Joshua charged them that went to describe the land, saying, Go and walk through the land, and describe it, and come again to me, that I may here cast lots for you before the Lord in Shiloh. And the men went and passed through the land, and described it by cities into seven parts in a book, and came again to Joshua to the host at Shiloh. And Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord. And there Joshua divided the land unto the children of Israel, according to their divisions. And the lot of the tribe of the children of Benjamin came up according to their families. And the coast of their lot came forth between the children of Judah and the children of Joseph. And their border on the north side was from Jordan. And the border went up to the side of Jericho on the north side, and went up through the mountains westward. And the goings out thereof were at the wilderness of beth And the border went over from thence toward Luz, to the side of Luz, which is Bethel southward. And the border descended to ataroth Adder, near the hill that lieth on the south side of the nether beth And the border was drawn thence, and compassed the corner of the sea southward, from the hill that lieth before beth southward. And the goings out thereof were at kirjath Baal which is kirjath Jearim, a city of the children of Judah. This was the west quarter. And the south quarter was from the end of kirjath Jearim, and the border went out on the west, and went out to the well of waters of Nephtoah. And the border came down to the end of the mountain that lieth before the valley of the son of Hinnom, and which is in the valley of the giants on the north, and descended to the valley of Hinnom, to the side of Jebusite on the south, and descended to Enrogel and was drawn from the north, and went forth to Enshemesh, and went forth toward Galiloth, which is over against the going up of Adunam, and descended to the stone of Bohan the son of Reuben, and passed along toward the side over against Arabah northward, and went down unto Arabah. And the border passed along to the side of Beth Hogla northward, and the outgoings of the border were at the north bay of the Salt Sea at the south end of Jordan. This was the south coast. And Jordan was the border of it on the east side. This was the inheritance of the children of Benjamin by the coasts thereof round about, according to their families. Now the cities of the tribe of the children of Benjamin, according to their families, were Jericho, and beth and the valley of Kizis, and beth Arabah, and Zemaraim, and Bethel, and Avim, and Pera, and Ophrah, and kepher Haamani, and Ophni, and Geba. Twelve cities with their villages, Gibeon, and Ramah, and Beeroth, and Mizpah, and Kephira, and Moza, and Rechem, and Irpil, and Terah, and Zela, Eliph, and Jebusai, which is Jerusalem, Gibeoth, and Kirjath. Fourteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Benjamin, according to their families. Chapter 19 Simeon, Zebulun, Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, and Dan receive their inheritances by lot. 
And the second lot came forth to Simeon, even for the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their families. And their inheritance was within the inheritance of the children of Judah. And they had in their inheritance Beersheba, or Sheba, and Molida, and Hazer Shul, and Bela, and Azim, and Eltolad, and Bethel, and Horma, and Ziklag, and Beth Markaboth, and Hazer Susa, and Beth Labaoth, and Sheruhan, thirteen cities and their villages, Ain, Remen, and Ether, and Ashan, four cities and their villages. And all the villages that were round about these cities to Baal Ephraim, Ramoth of the Sea. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their families. Out of the portion of the children of Judah was the inheritance of the children of Simeon. For the part of the children of Judah was too much. Therefore the children of Simeon had their inheritance within the inheritance of them. And the third lot came up for the children of Zebulun, according to their families. And the border of their inheritance was unto Sarid. And their border went up toward the sea and Merilah, and reached to Dabasheth, and reached to the river that is before Jachnium, and turned from Sarid eastward toward the sun rising unto the border of Kisloth Tabor, and then goeth out to Dabarath, and goeth up to Jephiah, and from thence passeth on along on the east to Gidahifer, to Itakazan, and goeth out to Remen Methoar, to Nea. And the border compasseth it on the north side to Hanathon, and the outgoings thereof are in the valley of Jephthael, and Kattath, and Nahalal, and Shimron, and Idala, and Bethlehem, twelve cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Zebulun, according to their families, these cities with their villages. And the fourth lot came out to Issachar, for the children of Issachar, according to their families. And their border was toward Jezreel, and Kassalath, and Shunem, and Hapharaim, and Shion, and Anaharath, and Rabbath, and Kishion, and Abiz, and Remoth, and Enganim, and Enhada, and Bethpazes. And the coast reacheth to Tabor, and Shehazimah, and Beth Shemesh. And the outgoings of their border were at Jordan, sixteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Issachar, according to their families, the cities, and their villages. And the fifth lot came out for the tribe of the children of Asher, according to their families. And their border was Helkath, and Halai, and Beton, and Akshaph, and Elamelech, and Amad, and Mishiel, and reacheth to Carmel westward, and to Shihor Libnath, and turneth toward the sun rising to Beth Dagon and reacheth to Zebulun, and to the valley of Jephthael, toward the north side of Bethemic, and Naal, and goeth out to Cabal on the left hand, and Hebron, and Rehob, and Haman, and Cana, even unto great Zidon. And then the coast turneth to Ramah, and to the strong city Tyre, and the coast turneth to Hosa, and the outgoings thereof are at the sea from the coast to Axib. Amma also, and Aphek, and Rehob, twenty and two cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Asher, according to their families, these cities with their villages. The sixth lot came out to the children of Naphtali, even for the children of Naphtali, according to their families. And their coast was from Heleph, from Alon to Zeanenim, and Adamai, Nekeb, and Jabneel, unto Lakem. And the outgoings thereof were at Jordan. And then the coast turneth westward to Asnoth Tabor, and goeth out from thence to Akok, and reacheth to Zebulun on the south side, and reacheth to Asher on the west side, and to Judah upon Jordan toward the sun rising. And the fence cities of Zidim, Zer, and Hamath, Rakath, and Kinnereth, and Adama, and Ramah, and Hazor, and Kedish, and Edrei, and Enhazor, and Iron, and Migdalel, Horam, and Beth Anath, and Beth Shemesh, nineteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Naphtali, according to their families, the cities and their villages. And the seventh lot came out for the tribe of the children of Dan, according to their families. And the coast of their inheritance was Zorah, and Eshtael, and Irshemesh, and Shealaban, and Agilon, 
and Jethla, and Elon, and Thimnatha, and Ekron, and Deltica, and Gibbethon, and Baalath, and Jehad, and Beni Birak, and Gathrimmon, and Majarkon, and Rakon, with the border before Japho. And the coast of the children of Dan went out too little for them. Therefore the children of Dan went up to fight against Leshem, and took it, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and possessed it, and dwelt therein, and called Leshem, Dan, after the name of Dan their father. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Dan, according to their families, these cities with their villages. When they had made an end of dividing the land for inheritance by their coasts, the children of Israel gave an inheritance to Joshua, the son of Nun, among them. According to the word of the Lord, they gave him the city which he asked, even Timnath Sirah in Mount Ephraim. And he built the city and dwelt therein. These are the inheritances which Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel divided for an inheritance by lot in Shiloh before the Lord at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. So they made an end of dividing the country. Chapter 20 Six cities of refuge are appointed for those guilty of manslaughter. The Lord also spake unto Joshua, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, Appoint out for you cities of refuge, whereof I spake unto you by the hand of Moses, that the slayer that killeth any person unawares and unwittingly may flee thither, and they shall be your refuge from the avenger of blood. And when he that doth flee unto one of those cities shall stand at the entering of the gate of the city, and shall declare his cause in the ears of the elders of that city, they shall take him into the city unto them, and give him a place, that he may dwell among them. And if the avenger of blood pursue after him, then they shall not deliver the slayer up into his hand, because he smote his neighbor unwittingly, and hated him not before time. And he shall dwell in that city, until he stand before the congregation for judgment, and until the death of the high priest that shall be in those days. Then shall the slayer return, and come unto his own city, and unto his own house, unto the city from whence he fled. And they appointed Kedish in Galilee in Mount Naphtali, and Shechem in Mount Ephraim, and Kirjath Arba, which is Hebron, in the mountain of Judah. And on the other side Jordan by Jericho eastward, they assigned Bezer in the wilderness upon the plain out of the tribe of Reuben, and Ramoth in Gilead out of the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan out of the tribe of Manasseh. These were the cities appointed for all the children of Israel, and for the stranger that sojourneth among them, that whosoever killeth any person at unawares might flee thither, and not die by the hand of the avenger of blood, until he stood before the congregation. Chapter 21 the Levites receive 48 cities with their suburbs. The Lord fulfills all his promises and gives Israel rest. Then came near the heads of the fathers of the Levites unto Eleazar the priest, and unto Joshua the son of Nun, and unto the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel. And they spake unto them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan, saying, The Lord commanded by the hand of Moses to give us cities to dwell in, with the suburbs thereof for our cattle. And the children of Israel gave unto the Levites out of their inheritance at the commandment of the Lord these cities and their suburbs. And the lot came out for the families of the Kohathites. And the children of Aaron the priest, which were of the Levites, had by lot out of the tribe of Judah, and out of the tribe of Simeon, and out of the tribe of Benjamin, thirteen cities. And the rest of the children of Kohath had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Ephraim, and out of the tribe of Dan, and out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, ten cities. And the children of Gershon had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Issachar, and out of the tribe of Asher, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, and out of the half-tribe of Manasseh in Bashan, thirteen cities. The children of Merari with their families had out of the tribe of Reuben, and out of the tribe of Gad, and out of the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. And the children of Israel gave by lot unto the Levites these cities with their suburbs, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses. And they gave out of the tribe of the children of Judah, and out of the tribe of the children of Simeon, 
these cities which are here mentioned by name, which the children of Aaron, being of the families of the Kohathites, who were of the children of Levi, had, for theirs was the first lot. And they gave them the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which city is in the hill country of Judah, with the suburbs thereof round about it. But the fields of the city and the villages thereof gave they to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, for his possession. Thus they gave to the children of Aaron the priest, Hebron with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Libna with her suburbs, and Jatter with her suburbs, and Eshtemoa with her suburbs, and Holon with her suburbs, and Deber with her suburbs, and Ain with her suburbs, and Jutta with her suburbs, and Beth Shemesh with her suburbs, nine cities out of those two tribes. And out of the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon with her suburbs, Geba with her suburbs, Anathoth with her suburbs, and Almon with her suburbs, four cities. All the cities of the children of Aaron the priests were thirteen cities with their suburbs. And the families of the children of Kohath, the Levites which remained of the children of Kohath, even they had the cities of their lot out of the tribe of Ephraim. For they gave them Shechem with her suburbs in Mount Ephraim to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Gezer with her suburbs, and Kibzaim with her suburbs, and Beth Horan with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Dan, Eltica with her suburbs, Gibbethon with her suburbs, Ajalon with her suburbs, Gathrimon with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the half tribe of Manasseh, Tanakh with her suburbs, and Gathrimon with her suburbs, two cities. All the cities were ten with their suburbs, for the families of the children of Kohath that remained. And unto the children of Gershon, of the families of the Levites, out of the other half tribe of Manasseh, they gave Golan in Bashan with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Beeshtera with her suburbs, two cities. And out of the tribe of Issachar, Kishon with her suburbs, Dabara with her suburbs, Jarmuth with her suburbs, and Ganem with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Asher, Mishal with her suburbs, Abdon with her suburbs, Hilkath with her suburbs, and Rehob with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kedish in Galilee with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Hamath Dor with her suburbs, and Kartan with her suburbs, three cities. All the cities of the Gershonites, according to their families, thirteen cities with their suburbs. And unto the families of the children of Merari, the rest of the Levites, out of the tribe of Zebulun, Jochniam with her suburbs, and Karta with her suburbs, Dimna with her suburbs, Nahalal with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer with her suburbs, and Jehaza with her suburbs, Kedemoth with her suburbs, and Mephaath with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth in Gilead with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Mahanaim with her suburbs, Heshbon with her suburbs, Jazer with her suburbs, four cities in all. So all the cities for the children of Merari by their families, which were remaining of the families of the Levites, were by their lot twelve cities. All the cities of the Levites within the possession of the children of Israel were forty and eight cities with their suburbs. These cities were every one with their suburbs round about them. Thus were all these cities. And the Lord gave unto Israel all the land which he sware to give unto their fathers, and they possessed it and dwelt therein. And the Lord gave them rest round about, according to all that he sware unto their fathers. And there stood not a man of all their enemies before them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. There failed not aught of any good thing which the Lord had spoken unto the house of Israel. All came to pass. Chapter 22 The two and a half tribes are dismissed with a blessing. They build an altar of testimony by the Jordan to show they are the Lord's people. It is not an altar for sacrifices or burnt offerings. Then Joshua called the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half-tribe of Manasseh, and said unto them, Ye have kept all that Moses the servant of the Lord commanded you, 
and have obeyed my voice in all that I commanded you. Ye have not left your brother in these many days unto this day, but have kept the charge of the commandment of the Lord your God. And now the Lord your God hath given rest unto your brethren, as he promised them. Therefore, now return ye, and get you unto your tents, and unto the land of your possession, which Moses the servant of the Lord gave you on the other side Jordan. But take diligent heed to do the commandment and the law, which Moses the servant of the Lord charged you, to love the Lord your God, and to walk in all his ways, and to keep his commandments, and to cleave unto him, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. So Joshua blessed them, and sent them away, and they went unto their tents. Now to the one half of the tribe of Manasseh, Moses had given possession in Bashan. But unto the other half thereof gave Joshua among their brethren on this side Jordan westward. And when Joshua sent them away also unto their tents, then he blessed them. And he spake unto them, saying, Return with much riches unto your tents, and with very much cattle, with silver and with gold, and with brass and with iron, and with very much raiment. Divide the spoil of your enemies with your brethren. And the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh returned and departed from the children of Israel out of Shiloh, which is in the land of Canaan, to go unto the country of Gilead, to the land of their possession whereof they were possessed, according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. And when they came unto the borders of Jordan that are in the land of Canaan, the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh built there an altar by Jordan, a great altar to see to. And the children of Israel heard say, Behold, the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh have built an altar over against the land of Canaan in the borders of Jordan at the passage of the children of Israel. And when the children of Israel heard of it, the whole congregation of the children of Israel gathered themselves together at Shiloh to go up to war against them. And the children of Israel sent unto the children of Reuben, and to the children of Gad, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh, into the land of Gilead, Phinehas the son of Eleazar the priest. And with him ten princes of each chief house, a prince throughout all the tribes of Israel. And each one was an head of the house of their fathers among the thousands of Israel. And they came unto the children of Reuben, and to the children of Gad, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh, unto the land of Gilead, and they spake with them, saying, Thus saith the whole congregation of the Lord, What trespass is this that ye have committed against the God of Israel, to turn away this day from following the Lord, in that ye have builded you an altar, that ye might rebel this day against the Lord? Is the iniquity of Peor too little for us, from which we are not cleansed until this day? although there was a plague in the congregation of the Lord, but that ye must turn away this day from following the Lord? And it will be, seeing ye rebel today against the Lord, that tomorrow he will be wroth with the whole congregation of Israel. Notwithstanding, if the land of your possession be unclean, then pass ye over unto the land of the possession of the Lord, wherein the Lord's tabernacle dwelleth, and take possession among us. But rebel not against the Lord, nor rebel against us in building you an altar beside the altar of the Lord our God. Did not Achan the son of Zerah commit a trespass in the accursed thing, and wrath fell on all the congregation of Israel? And that man perished not alone in his iniquity. Then the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh answered, and said unto the heads of the thousands of Israel, The Lord God of gods... The Lord God of gods he knoweth, and Israel he shall know. If it be in rebellion, or if in transgression against the Lord, save us not this day, that we have built us an altar to turn from following the Lord, or if to offer thereon burnt offering, or meat offering, or if to offer peace offerings thereon, let the Lord himself require it. And if we have not rather done it for fear of this thing, saying, in time to come your children might speak unto our children, saying, What have ye to do with the Lord God of Israel? For the Lord hath made Jordan a border between us and you, ye children of Reuben and children of Gad. Ye have no part in the Lord, so shall your children make our children cease from fearing the Lord.
Therefore we said, Let us now prepare to build us an altar, not for burnt offering, nor for sacrifice, but that it may be a witness between us and you, and our generations after us, that we might do the service of the Lord before him with our burnt offerings, and with our sacrifices, and with our peace offerings, that your children may not say to our children in time to come, Ye have no part in the Lord. Therefore said we, that it shall be, when they should so say to us or to our generations in time to come, that we may say again, Behold the pattern of the altar of the Lord which our fathers made, not for burnt offerings nor for sacrifices, but it is a witness between us and you. God forbid that we should rebel against the Lord, and turn this day from following the Lord, to build an altar for burnt offerings, for meat offerings, or for sacrifices, beside the altar of the Lord our God, that is before his tabernacle. And when Phinehas the priest, and the princes of the congregation, and heads of the thousands of Israel which were with him, heard the words that the children of Reuben, and the children of Gad, and the children of Manasseh spake, it pleased them. And Phinehas the son of Eleazar the priest, said unto the children of Reuben, and to the children of Gad, and to the children of Manasseh. This day we perceive that the Lord is among us, because ye have not committed this trespass against the Lord. Now ye have delivered the children of Israel out of the hand of the Lord. And Phinehas the son of Eleazar the priest, and the princes, returned from the children of Reuben, and from the children of Gad, out of the land of Gilead, unto the land of Canaan, to the children of Israel, and brought them word again. And the thing pleased the children of Israel. And the children of Israel blessed God, and did not intend to go up against them in battle, to destroy the land wherein the children of Reuben and Gad dwelt. And the children of Reuben and the children of Gad called the altar Ed, for it shall be a witness between us that the Lord is God. Chapter 23 Joshua exhorts Israel to be courageous, keep the commandments, love the Lord, and neither marry among nor cleave unto the remnants of the Canaanites who remain in the land. When the children of Israel serve other gods, they will be cursed and dispossessed. And it came to pass, a long time after that the Lord had given rest unto Israel from all their enemies round about, that Joshua waxed old and stricken in age. And Joshua called for all Israel, and for their elders, and for their heads, and for their judges, and for their officers, and said unto them, I am old and stricken in age. And ye have seen all that the Lord your God hath done unto all these nations because of you. For the Lord your God is he that hath fought for you. Behold, I have divided unto you by lot these nations that remain, to be an inheritance for your tribes, from Jordan, with all the nations that I have cut off, even unto the great sea westward. And the Lord your God, he shall expel them from before you, and drive them from out of your sight. And ye shall possess their land, as the Lord your God hath promised unto you. Be ye therefore very courageous to keep, and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, that ye turn not aside therefrom to the right hand or to the left, that ye come not among these nations, these that remain among you, neither make mention of the name of their gods, nor cause to swear by them, neither serve them, nor bow yourselves unto them. But cleave unto the Lord your God, as ye have done unto this day. For the Lord hath driven out from before you great nations and strong. But as for you, no man hath been able to stand before you unto this day. One man of you shall chase a thousand. For the Lord your God, he it is that fighteth for you, as he hath promised you. Take good heed therefore unto yourselves, that ye love the Lord your God. Else if ye do in any wise go back, and cleave unto the remnant of these nations, even these that remain among you, and shall make marriages with them, and go in unto them, and they to you, know for a certainty that the Lord your God will no more drive out any of these nations from before you. But they shall be snares and traps unto you, and scourges in your sides, and thorns in your eyes, 
until ye perish from off this good land which the Lord your God hath given you. And behold, this day I am going the way of all the earth, and ye know in all your hearts and in all your souls that not one thing hath failed of all the good things which the Lord your God spake concerning you. All are come to pass unto you, and not one thing hath failed thereof. Therefore it shall come to pass, that as all good things are come upon you which the Lord your God promised you, so shall the Lord bring upon you all evil things, until he have destroyed you from off this good land which the Lord your God hath given you. When ye have transgressed the covenant of the Lord your God, which he commanded you, and have gone and served other gods, and bowed yourselves to them, then shall the anger of the Lord be kindled against you, and ye shall perish quickly from off the good land, which he hath given unto you. Chapter 24 Joshua recites how the Lord has blessed and led Israel. Joshua and all the people covenant to choose the Lord and serve him only. Joshua and Eliezer die. The bones of Joseph, taken from Egypt, are buried in Shechem. And Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel to Shechem, and called for the elders of Israel, and for their heads, and for their judges, and for their officers. And they presented themselves before God. And Joshua said unto all the people, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Your fathers dwelt on the other side of the flood in old time, even Terah, the father of Abraham, and the father of Nacor, and they served other gods. And I took your father Abraham from the other side of the flood, and led him throughout all the land of Canaan, and multiplied his seed, and gave him Isaac. And I gave unto Isaac Jacob and Esau, and I gave unto Esau Mount Seir, to possess it. But Jacob and his children went down into Egypt. I sent Moses also, and Aaron, and I plagued Egypt, according to that which I did among them, and afterward I brought you out. And I brought your fathers out of Egypt, and ye came unto the sea, and the Egyptians pursued after your fathers with chariots and horsemen unto the Red Sea. And when they cried unto the Lord, he put darkness between you and the Egyptians, and brought the sea upon them, and covered them. And your eyes have seen what I have done in Egypt, and ye dwelt in the wilderness a long season. And I brought you into the land of the Amorites, which dwelt on the other side Jordan. And they fought with you, and I gave them into your hand, that ye might possess their land. And I destroyed them from before you. Then Balaam, the son of Zippor, king of Moab, arose and warred against Israel, and sent and called Balaam, the son of Beor, to curse you. But I would not hearken unto Balaam, therefore he blessed you still. So I delivered you out of his hand. And ye went over Jordan, and came unto Jericho. And the men of Jericho fought against you, the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Girgashites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. And I delivered them into your hand. And I sent the hornet before you, which drave them out from before you, even the two kings of the Amorites, but not with thy sword, nor with thy power. And I have given you a land for which ye did not labor, and cities which ye built not, and ye dwell in them. Of the vineyards and olive yards which ye planted not, do ye eat. Now therefore, fear the Lord, and serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And the people answered and said, God forbid that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. For the Lord our God, he it is that brought us up and our fathers out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, and which did those great signs in our sight, and preserved us in all the way wherein we went, and among all the people through whom we passed. And the Lord drave out from before us all the people, even the Amorites which dwelt in the land. Therefore will we also serve the Lord, for he is our God.
And Joshua said unto the people, Ye cannot serve the Lord, for he is an holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your transgressions nor your sins. If ye forsake the Lord and serve strange gods, then he will turn and do you hurt and consume you after that he hath done you good. And the people said unto Joshua, Nay, but we will serve the Lord. And Joshua said unto the people, Ye are witnesses against yourselves that ye have chosen you the Lord to serve him. And they said, We are witnesses. Now therefore put away, said he, the strange gods which are among you, and incline your heart unto the Lord God of Israel. And the people said unto Joshua, The Lord our God will we serve, and his voice will we obey. So Joshua made a covenant with the people that day, and set them a statute and an ordinance in Shechem. And Joshua wrote these words in the book of the law of God, and took a great stone, and set it up there under an oak, that was by the sanctuary of the Lord. And Joshua said unto all the people, Behold, this stone shall be a witness unto us, for it hath heard all the words of the Lord which he spake unto us. It shall be therefore a witness unto you, lest ye deny your God. So Joshua let the people depart, every man unto his inheritance. And it came to pass after these things that Joshua the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died being a hundred and ten years old. And they buried him in the border of his inheritance in timnath Sirah, which is in Mount Ephraim, on the north side of the hill of Gaash. And Israel served the Lord all the days of Joshua, and all the days of the elders that overlived Joshua, and which had known all the works of the Lord that he had done for Israel. And the bones of Joseph, which the children of Israel brought up out of Egypt, buried they in Shechem, in a parcel of ground which Jacob bought of the sons of Hamor, the father of Shechem, for an hundred pieces of silver. And it became the inheritance of the children of Joseph. And Eliezer, the son of Aaron, died, and they buried him in a hill that pertained to Phinehas, his son, which was given him in Mount Ephraim. The Book of Judges Chapter 1. Judah, Simeon, and Joseph continue to conquer the Canaanites. Remnants of the Canaanites remain in the lands of Judah, Manasseh, Ephraim, Zebulun, Asher, Naphtali, and Dan. Now after the death of Joshua, it came to pass that the children of Israel asked the Lord, saying, Who shall go up for us against the Canaanites first, to fight against them? And the Lord said, Judah shall go up. Behold, I have delivered the land into his hand. And Judah said unto Simeon his brother, Come up with me into my lot, that we may fight against the Canaanites, and I likewise will go with thee into thy lot. So Simeon went with him. And Judah went up, and the Lord delivered the Canaanites and the Perizzites into their hand. And they slew of them in Bezek ten thousand men. And they found Adonai Bezek in Bezek, and they fought against him, and they slew the Canaanites and the Perizzites. But Adonai Bezek fled, and they pursued after him, and caught him, and cut off his thumbs and his great toes. And Adonai Bezek said, Three score and ten kings, having their thumbs and their great toes cut off, gathered their meat under my table. As I have done, so God hath requited me. And they brought him to Jerusalem, and there he died. Now the children of Judah had fought against Jerusalem, and had taken it, and smitten it with the edge of the sword, and set the city on fire. And afterward the children of Judah went down to fight against the Canaanites, that dwelt in the mountain, and in the south, and in the valley. And Judah went against the Canaanites that dwelt in Hebron. Now the name of Hebron before was Kirjath Arba. And they slew Shishai, and Ahiman, and Talmai. And from thence he went against the inhabitants of Deber. And the name of Deber before was Kirjath Sefer. And Caleb said, He that smiteth Kirjath Sefer, and taketh it, to him will I give Aksa my daughter to wife. And Othniel the son of Kenaz, Caleb's younger brother, took it. And he gave him Aksa his daughter to wife. And it came to pass, when she came to him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field. And she lighted from off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What wilt thou? 
And she said unto him, Give me a blessing, for thou hast given me a south land, give me also springs of water. And Caleb gave her the upper springs and the nether springs. And the children of the Kenite, Moses' father-in-law, went up out of the city of palm trees with the children of Judah into the wilderness of Judah, which lieth in the south of Arad. And they went and dwelt among the people. And Judah went with Simeon his brother, and they slew the Canaanites that inhabited Zephath, and utterly destroyed it. And the name of the city was called Hormah. Also Judah took Gaza with the coast thereof, and Ascalon with the coast thereof, and Ekron with the coast thereof. And the Lord was with Judah, and he drove out the inhabitants of the mountain, but could not drive out the inhabitants of the valley, because they had chariots of iron. And they gave Hebron unto Caleb, as Moses said, and he expelled thence the three sons of Anak. And the children of Benjamin did not drive out the Jebusites that inhabited Jerusalem, but the Jebusites dwell with the children of Benjamin in Jerusalem unto this day. And the house of Joseph, they also went up against Bethel, and the Lord was with them. And the house of Joseph sent to descry Bethel. Now the name of the city before was Luz. And the spies saw a man come forth out of the city, and they said unto him, Show us, we pray thee, the entrance into the city, and we will show thee mercy. And when he showed them the entrance into the city, they smote the city with the edge of the sword, but they let go the man and all his family. And the man went into the land of the Hittites, and built a city, and called the name thereof Luz, which is the name thereof unto this day. Neither did Manasseh drive out the inhabitants of Bethshean and her towns, nor Teanach and her towns, nor the inhabitants of Dor and her towns, nor the inhabitants of Iblium and her towns, nor the inhabitants of Megiddo and her towns. But the Canaanites would dwell in that land. And it came to pass, when Israel was strong, that they put the Canaanites to tribute, and did not utterly drive them out. Neither did Ephraim drive out the Canaanites that dwelt in Gezer. But the Canaanites dwelt in Gezer of them. Neither did Zebulun drive out the inhabitants of Kitron, nor the inhabitants of Nahalol. But the Canaanites dwelt among them and became tributaries. Neither did Asher drive out the inhabitants of Akko, nor the inhabitants of Zidon, nor of Alab, nor of Akzib, nor of Helba, nor of Aphek, nor of Rehob. But the Asherites dwelt among the Canaanites, the inhabitants of the land, for they did not drive them out. Neither did Naphtali drive out the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh, nor the inhabitants of Beth Anath. But he dwelt among the Canaanites, the inhabitants of the land. Nevertheless, the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh and of Beth Anath became tributaries unto them. And the Amorites forced the children of Dan into the mountain, for they would not suffer them to come down to the valley. But the Amorites would dwell in Mount Heres, in Ajalon, and in Shealbim. Yet the hand of the house of Joseph prevailed, so that they became tributaries. And the coast of the Amorites was from the going up to Akrabim, from the rock, and upward. Chapter 2 An angel rebukes Israel for not serving the Lord. As a pattern of future events, Okay, everybody, thanks for being here for my Minecraft ministry, I guess, while I do my scripture re- listening, absorbing. Um, let's do acknowledgments, then I'll close with a prayer. You want to become famous? E.H. Solo Porti 66 wants me to be by followers, but I'm not going to do that. Thank you for, for joining us anyway. And let's see who viewed the broadcast. We have another T T V viewer, Bing Cortana, Droop, Droop Dog with three G's. Go with him. Industrial Parasite. Let's do this music and silly gnome two two five. Thanks for being here. Uh I'm gonna say thank you again. And now I'll close with prayer. Dear God in heaven, we are grateful for this day. We ask that thou bless me and all those within the sound of my voice, that uh, we will be blessed, that we'll have your spirit with us, that we can be kind and compassionate, 
and glorify you in all that we do. Ask a special blessing upon my daughter that she will have um, less anxiety. And that we pray for Stevie the dog that she, that she will be well and she'll we can figure out what's going on with her and she can be happy. This we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.